For today's video, we will answer a geometry challenge given by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. Given these two points, let's draw two congruent circles with a radius of 5 meters. Now from here, let's draw a segment that is tangent to both circles. And now let's draw a square between these two circles that is also tangent to this segment. And the question is, what is the area of the square? Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, suppose you pause this video. Now, let's see if you got the correct answer. Alright, before I present my solution, let's see the solution that is provided by our friend, Sir Ahmed. He is a math genius, a geometry wizard, and his answer is 4 square meters. You can pause this video right here and see his solution. Now, let's begin our solution and let's see if we get the same result for square meters. Alright. Now, to answer this kind of question, we will focus on the important points. The important points are those tangent points. Tangent to circle to circle. Tangent to circle to the segment. And also, the intersection of this square and the circle. Alright. So, let's first talk about this intersection point or the point of tangency between these two circles. Now let's move the radius in this point like this. And now let's consider these intersection points. So again, let's draw the radius that is connected to this tangent line, tangent segment rather. And technically speaking, we have here right angle. Also, notice that we have here a with a length of 10 meters. Also, the width is just 5 meters because this is the radius of the circle. Now, another intersection point is the intersection between the circle and the tip of the square. So from here, let's draw a radius that connecting this. And now, the measure of this segment is also 5 meters because this is just the radius of the circle. Now, let x be the side length of the square. Now, from here, from the tip of this square, let's draw a perpendicular line to the radius of the circle and let's create a right triangle. Now we have a right triangle right over here and we will use this right triangle to solve this question or to find the value of x. Now we know all of the side of the square must be equal to x. Therefore, the measure of this segment right over here is also equal to x. Therefore, one of the legs of this right triangle must be equal to 5 minus x. Now, we have the hypotenuse of this right triangle. We now have one of its legs. We have 5 minus x. The only missing length is this side. Now, to find this missing length, what we're going to do is to focus on this figure and take note that the length of this rectangle must be equal to 10 meters. We have the length of the side of the square be equal to x. Therefore, the length of this segment, they are just equal by symmetry. So the length of this segment must be equal to 10, the whole thing, minus x, then divided by 2. So one of this segment must be equal to 10 minus x divided by 2. Now, if we add this to this x, the side of the square, and another 10 minus x divided by 2, if we add this, 10 minus x divided by 2 plus x plus 10 minus x divided by 2, we get exactly 10. Therefore, the side length of this right triangle are now complete. We have 5, we have 5 minus x, and we have 10 minus x divided by 2. So now, we can now use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for the value of x. Now, Pythagorean theorem states that we have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So A, we have 5 minus x, and B, we have 10 minus x divided by 2, and the hypotenuse, which is 5. So we have 5 minus x raised to the power of 2, plus 10 minus x over 2 raised to the power of 2 equals 5 squared. Now let's simplify. 5 minus x raised to the power of 2, if we expand this, we get 25 minus 10x plus x squared. Now, 
if we expand 10 minus x over 2 raised to the power of 2, we get something like 100 minus 20x plus x squared all over 4. And also, don't forget that 5 squared is just 25. Now, to solve for the value of x, first, notice that we can eliminate this 25 on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side. So this is just 0. And then, let's multiply all of this term by 4 to eliminate the denominator, 4. And if we do that, we get negative 40x plus 4x squared plus copy the numerator, 100 minus 20x plus x squared. Now, let's combine like terms. We have 4x squared and positive x squared, so we have 5x squared, negative 40x, and negative 20x. If we combine this, we have negative 60x. And now 100, 60, and 5 are divisible by 5. So let's divide all of this. Also 0. Let's divide this by 5. If we do that, we get 20 minus 12x plus x squared equals 0. Now from here, let's rearrange some terms a little bit. And let's focus on this equation. Now we have a quadratic equation in terms of x x squared minus 12x plus 20 equals 0. We can easily factor this because this 20 is 10 times 2. And this 12 is just 10 plus 2. So we can factor this as follows. We have x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 10. So negative 10 times negative 2 is positive 20. Negative 10 plus negative 2 is negative 12. So the factored form of x squared minus 12, x plus 20 is just x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 10. Now since it is equal to 0, we can say that at least one of them must be equal to 0. So x minus 2 equals 0 or x minus 10 equals 0. On the first case, we get that the value of x, if we add 2 on both sides, we get that x equals positive 2. And on the other case, we get that x equals positive 10. Now, we found two possible values of x, and let's analyze. Now, the question is, is this x can be equal to 10? If x equals 10, 10 minus 10 is 0, so this side length equals 0. And the side length of the square equals 10 meters. So, definitely, it's not possible. So, the case wherein x equals 10 meters is not possible. So the only possible thing, the only possible measure of x must be equal to 2. So if x is 2, then we found that the side length of this square, the small square, must be equal to 2. And if x equal 2, we have the hypotenuse of 5. 5 minus 2, we have the side length 3. 5 ma 10 minus 2 is 8 divided by 2, which is 4. So we have 3, 4, 5 right triangle. So definitely, x must be equal to 2. And this x is the side length of the square. And to find the area of the square, let's square on both sides. And sure enough, x squared is the area of the square, and it must be equal to 2 squared or simply equal to 4. Therefore, the area of this yellow square must be equal to 4 square meters. And as always, we are done.